extra minutes. This whole journey is extraordinary when you think it's was the spacecraft were launched over 35 years ago. And at that time, the space age itself was only 20 years old. So this is now almost twice the age of the space age as it was when Voyager was launched. We're going to explore a new part of space, a space that's filled with stuff that has come from exploding stars, supernovae, 5, 10, 15 million years ago. And the magnetic field out there is that of a galaxy. Out there are cosmic ray particles which are accelerated in these explosions which can't get in. So we're going to see an entirely new environment that no spacecraft has ever experienced before. We hoped that we would reach the edge of interstellar space. In fact, we put on a special instrument just for this part of the mission, but none of us knew how big the bubble is, nor did we know that spacecraft could last this long. So in that sense, this journey has just been one of surprise after surprise. What the most extraordinary thing is how diverse bodies are in the solar system. The same processes which formed the Earth have formed these other bodies, but they are all distinctly different. And the, both the processes which shape them have also affected Earth in ways we need to understand. Well, you know, when you have a spacecraft that's 18 billion kilometers away and has a 23 watt transmitter on it, you have to have very sensitive antennas. And Canberra has one of those sets of antennas which listen to Voyager 2. In fact, it's the only set of antennas now that can track Voyager 2 because Voyager 2 is down south in the heliosphere. And so it's a vital way that we communicate with Voyager 2. In about 40,000 years, Voyager will actually have its closest approach to another star, but close really means uh, one and a half light years close, so not, not very close at all. And it will continue its journey uh, around the center of our galaxy. Every few hundred million years, it will make another orbit around the Milky Way. It will last essentially forever. It will be a little bit of Earth, basically, out orbiting the center of our galaxy with all the stars.